Shopify for artists. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify as an artist to sell your art in both digital and physical medium. So let's get into it. Now, you're just going to click on start free trial over here on shopify.com and make sure to use the link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify. And over here, you're just going to enter your email password and your store name. And don't worry about the store name. You can change this later on. Now, after you have done that, this is going to be your basic dashboard on your Shopify profile. So on your left, you're going to find that you have your navigation bar and on your right, you have your account settings and your different stores. So you can create more than one store on a singular account. Now, if you're an artist, you are probably selling print media. You're probably selling digital media. You're probably selling canvases and you're selling a bunch of different products. And there is a specific feature that I find so helpful in Shopify to sell different medium content or different medium art in the product section so for that i'm actually gonna first off show you guys that feature because i've personally used it and i find it to be so much more easy to manage all of my products if i'm selling digital ones or if i'm selling physical ones so what that is is that i like to just click on add product over here and i'm just going with the example of my own art because i sell both canvases and i also sell print media and i also sell some digital prints as well or digital stickers as well so I just like to go on add title so it could be cat frame and let's say I have cat frame in both like a physical and digital version so first off I'm going to add the description so this might be the digital version of my cat frame so it could be a whatever the pixel dimensions might be so I would usually add those in the description and then I would obviously upload the media image of my actual product. And then I'm going to select the product status into active. And this is the thing. Once I am deciding the price, so the price for a digital print might be $4. And then I'm going to scroll down. And then I'm not going to track quantity. Then I can just select that this is not a physical product. And this is something I find so helpful because you can do this for individual products. So then I can create a separate product called another cat frame. And then I can make it a physical product and add shipping details as well. So I'm just going to click on save over here. And now my digital product has been saved. So I'm just going to go on to my all product section now. And you can see this is a non-inventory product because obviously this is an online product. Now, I can just click on add product over here. I can click on cat frame physical. And then I can add the size of my frame. So it could be a 12 by 12 inch. And then I'm going to obviously add the image. You're going to make this a active product, not a draft. I'm just going to click on active over here. Then I'm going to add the pricing. So the price for a physical CAD frame might be $20. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm just going to click on track quantity. So maybe this is going to be the SKU number. This is just SKU numbers are just for you to keep track of your own stuff. And then I can add the available quantity. So maybe I only have three of these CAD frames. And then this is a physical product. So I can add the weight as well. And with frames and stuff, they can usually be pretty heavy, so it's pretty helpful for you to have a good estimate of how much your frame might weigh when you're shipping them. And then you can add customs in your region. Then you can also add product options. So you can click on a different sizes as well. So what I like to do is if I can make this frame again and again, or if I have this frame in variable sizes, I don't add any description uh, regarding the size. I just add a like description about the content that I, or the art that I have created. And then I like to scroll down and I like to go into the option section and then you can click on size over here and then you can add different values. So it could be a 12 X 12 inch. Then it could also be a 10 or maybe like a 16 so then i would add the other value which would be 16 into 16 inches then i could maybe make it like 22 into 22 inches like this and once i have all of my sizes i just click on done over here and now you can change the price for each size as well. So a 12 by 12 might be $20, but a 16 by 16 might be $50 or a 20 by 20 
might be like $80. Then after you have done that, you're going to add the quantity. So maybe I have a one of these or maybe maybe I have like eight of these in a 12 by 12 frame, but I only have like four of these in a 16 inch. And then maybe I only have one piece in the 20 by 22 inch. And this is a feature that I find to be so good for you to keep track of your inventory and different products as an artist. So I'm just going to click on save over here. And this is how easy it is to add not only physical and digital products, but also variable sized products in a single product over here on Shopify. So make sure that you do click on the link in the description to sign up for Shopify today and get your 14 day free trial and get started with your artist journey as a seller. So once you have done that, there are some other things you need to do now. Obviously, we're going to create our online store last, but before that, I'm going to show you guys another feature that I find very helpful is going into the analytics section. And then this is the basic analytics dashboard, but you can just click on reports over here. And these are very, very helpful, especially if I scroll down and go into the behavior section. So you can see that this really helps you understand what kind of customers you have, if they are browsing, what products are they more, most frequently looking at, uh, what products usually get clicks, uh, what products are usually bought over time, and all of those different things are present over here on your report section and you can easily uh, target and monitor customer behavior to reframe your art into that mold that people are checking out more so you can create more art along those lines. Now this is something that is going to help you not only with your e-commerce journey but this is also going to help you in your art journey because if you're creating art and looking to sell art you want to be making money and you can see what kind of pieces make money and what kind of pieces you should create only for your own art purposes. Now I used to create a lot of like cartoon images but I realized that after some time that people were preferring abstract art over the cartoon images that I was creating so I moved most of my art on my e-commerce platforms into my abstract art and I just kept my cartoon images to social media platforms only so once you have a good idea of how to add your products and how to um, manage different products and target different customers you're going to create your online store so you're just going to click on the online store over here at the left and then you're just going to scroll down and click on theme library you can click on uh, explore free themes and choose any one of these themes what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to click on actions over here and i'm just going to customize the theme that i'm currently running so first off i'm just going to remove all of these sections and i'm going to start from scratch now don't worry about this section this can be changed from uh, the outside this can be changed on the website editor so don't worry about your store name you can change that later on just pick a theme that you like so let's just say i like this theme i'm just going to click on customize and what i'm going to do is i'm going to first off remove the sections over here and what i'm going to do is actually i think this one is a bit off for my theme i'm just going to click on maybe this one this one is a bit better so i am just waiting for this theme to be loaded onto my dashboard once it has been loaded i'm just going to click on customize and i can begin with customizing my own theme according to my own needs so i'm just going to remove the other themes that i have running and i'm just going to delete these out and I'm just going to click on customize on the theme that I just added. And now what I can do is first off, you can remove excess sections. So we're just going to open up the theme and on your left, you're going to find all of your sections that have been generated within the theme that were already present. And you can choose to keep those or remove those accordingly. So now you can see that these are the sections that are already created within the theme, but I'm going to remove these excess sections. So you're just going to click on the section and then you can click on remove section at the bottom left. And I'm just going to remove all of these excess sections because I don't really want to confuse you guys with all, all of these sections. You can obviously uh, later on add these accordingly, but when you're starting out, you want to keep it simple so it's a bit more easier for you to understand your website navigation. So I'm just going to remove these and I'm just going to keep a simple image with a text overlay over here. So on my first page on my website, I'm just going to select an image and obviously I'm uh, usually I would select my own art but I'm just using the free images section on the images over here. And I'm just gonna use this image and I'm just gonna select it. And then I'm going to change the text 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the heading. I could make it Sarah's art portfolio. And then I would add like a description about my art inspired by NFTs or anything like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on save over here. And once I have done that, I'm just going to go into my home page and I'm going to check out my navigation bar. So this is the custom navigation bar. And how do you change this navigation? So I don't need a donate us page. I don't need a how can you help us. I need a products page and I need a buy now page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first off go back and I'm just going to go scroll down. And you can see over here on your left, you have your pages. So you're going to click on pages or you can click on navigation. And then you're going to click on main menu and then you can see you can edit these pages so this is the all products page and i'm going to name it products they can categorize products if you choose to do so so it could be like physical products and then um and digital products you can categorize those accordingly but i just like to keep them all together and i can add a about the artist page and i'm going to change this link to pages you can create different pages as well, so you don't have to worry about that. You can create the page later on. Contact page like this. And then I also like to add like a custom order form. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a page link as a sample over here. But what I like to do is you're just going to go onto the pages section over here. We're just going to save these. And then I'm going to go onto the pages section. I'm going to click on add page. Then I usually like to add custom order form. And then what I like to do is I like to leave like an empty space for people to type in their custom requests if they have any. And if they want to create like a custom product with me, then I'm going to go back into navigation. I'm going to click on the main menu again and I'm going to link this. So I'm going to click on the custom order form. I'm going to remove, I'm going to click on pages over here. And I'm going to link it to the page that I just created. Now I'm just going to click on my online store over here. I'm going to click on view store. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on actions. I'm going to click on publish. So this was just like my website was in a draft. But now I'm going to publish my website. And now if I click on view over here. You can see this is my art portfolio. If I click on over here on the left, I have my home products about the artist, contact, and custom order form. And if I click on my products, you can see I have my cat frame and my cat frame physical. And if I click on the physical one, you can see I have the options of 12 by 12, 16 by 16, 20 by 20. And I can just choose whichever one I want and the price will be adjusted accordingly. So that is how easy it is to create your own Shopify store as an artist and start selling your items today. So make sure to check out the link in the description to make your own Shopify store today and leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.